Mass doctors fear flu pandemic after 1,600 cases confirmed this week. Bay State doctors fear this year's deadly flu season will explode into a full blown pandemic. With influenza sickening 1,646 people just this week. U.S. Senator Edward J. Markey called on Congress to commit $1 billion toward the development of a universal flu vaccine to help wipe away the terrifying surge. Massachusetts General Hospital, hosting yesterday's press conference, has already seen 10 deaths and 150 hospitalizations related to the flu this season. Statewide, officials have recorded 5,708 confirmed influenza cases since October, and 1,646. Just this week. We still fall so short in our response to this annual menace, Markey said. Flu season shouldn't be Groundhog's Day for our universal health community. A universal vaccine, which would cost taxpayers $200 million a year, would be able to treat multiple mutating strains of virus, doctors said. And Markey said he expects Republicans in the House and Senate will recognize the dire need for a universal vaccine. I feel very confident that I can reach across the aisle, find Republican support and begin to find a dedicated way to give support to these researchers, he said. Dr. David Hooper, Mass General's Chief of Infection Control, said. This is the worst flu season I've seen in a number of years. Hooper also pointed out the surge in influenza cases is taking place well before the peak of the traditional flu season, saying, we're only partway there yet. And a Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report detailing the week ending Jan. 27 shows it's the same nationwide. Last week, one of every 14 visits to doctors and clinics were for symptoms of the flu. According to the report, that's the highest level since the 2009 H1N1 swine flu pandemic. Sickened millions of people worldwide. 42 states reported high patient traffic for the flu, up from 39 the week before. The strain known as type A, H3N2, accounts for most of the cases doctors have seen this year. The fact that it's a bad match for the flu shot is making matters worse. It's less effective than some of the earlier vaccine matches. Hooper said of this year's vaccine, adding that it has been all hands on deck at MGH, where there have been 90 documented cases of influenza of hospital staff since October. The flu has hit the Bay State hardest on the north and south shores, the south coast, and the immediate Metro West area, according to state data. Doctors are urging people who haven't been vaccinated to get a flu shot as a primary precaution. To prevent spreading the virus they also recommend diligent hand washing and staying home and resting if you think you're coming down with the flu. Herald Wire Services contributed to this report. Bay State doctors fear this year's deadly flu season will explode into a full-blown pandemic. With influenza sickening 1,646 people just this week. U.S. Senator Edward J. Markey called on Congress to commit $1 billion toward the development of a universal flu vaccine to help wipe away the terrifying surge. Massachusetts General Hospital, hosting yesterday's press conference has already seen 10 deaths and 150 hospitalizations related to the flu this season. Statewide, officials have recorded 5,708 confirmed influenza cases since October, and 1,646. Just this week. We still fall so short in our response to this annual menace, Markey said. 
Flu season shouldn't be Groundhog's Day for our universal health community. A universal vaccine, which would cost taxpayers $200 million a year, would be able to treat multiple mutating strains of virus, doctors said and Markey said he expects Republicans in the House and Senate will recognize the dire need for a universal vaccine. I feel very confident that I can reach across the aisle, find Republican support, and begin to find a dedicated way to give support to these researchers, he said. Dr. David Hooper, Mass General's Chief of Infection Control, said. This is the worst flu season I've seen in a number of years. Hooper also pointed out the surge in influenza cases is taking place well before the peak of the traditional flu season, saying, we're only partway there yet. And a Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report detailing the week ending Jan. 27 shows it's the same nationwide. Last week, one of every 14 visits to doctors and clinics were for symptoms of the flu. According to the report, that's the highest level since the 2009 H1N1 swine flu pandemic. Sickened millions of people worldwide. 42 states reported high patient traffic for the flu, up from 39 the week before. The strain known as type A, H3N2, accounts for most of the cases doctors have seen this year. The fact that it's a bad match for the flu shot is making matters worse. It's less effective than some of the earlier vaccine matches. Hooper said of this year's vaccine, adding that it has been all hands on deck at MGH where there have been 90 documented cases of influenza of hospital staff since October. The flu has hit the Bay State hardest on the north and south shores, the south coast, and the immediate Metro West area, according to state data. Doctors are urging people who haven't been vaccinated to get a flu shot as a primary precaution. To prevent spreading the virus they also recommend diligent hand washing and staying home and resting if you think you're coming down with the flu. Herald Wire Services contributed to this report. Hospital officials say their emergency room is packed with flu patients every day and at least 90 staff members of the hospital have been diagnosed. Part of the reason for the epidemic is health experts say the current batch of flu vaccination is not as effective. U.S. Senator Ed Markey DMA, visited the Boston Hospital on Friday to call on Congress to invest $1 billion over five years for researchers to create a new universal flu vaccine. Markey said he will introduce the flu vaccine bill next week. Massachusetts confirmed flu cases hits 5,708. Laboratory confirmed cases of flu continued to rise. Along with influenza-like illness activity, across the Commonwealth during the last seven days. According to the latest figures from the Massachusetts Department of Public Health, the number of year-to-date laboratory confirmed cases of flu in the state now states at 5,708. A rise of 1,655 over the week ending January 26. Influenza-like illness activity. Which indicates the percentage of visits to outpatient providers for flu-like symptoms rose from 3.6% for the week ending January 26 to 42 for the week ending February 2. This percentage for the West rose from 3.4 to 4, turning the region from brown to orange on the state's regional map for this percentage and indicating the highest rate just below red. The three regions in eastern Massachusetts in the red last week remain there for the week. Ending February 2, with higher percentages. 
The northeast region rose from 4.8% to 5.6%, the southeast region from 4.1% to 6%, and the outer Boston region from 5.5% to 6.2%. Laboratory confirmed cases in the West for the week ending Feb. 2 stood at 619, including 487 cases of type A and 132 type B. Last week, the West had 487, including 409 type A and 78 type B. Hospital admissions were also higher at 39.25 laboratory confirmed hospitalizations for flu per 1,000 licensed hospital beds, compared with 37.60 for the week ending January 26. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have called this flu season the worst in 10 years, and attributed 53 pediatric deaths to it, including one from Region 1, which includes the states of Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island and Vermont. The CDC said some 584,362 specimens tested positive for flu in clinical laboratories out of 102,364 tested in the country since the start of the season October 1, and that the majority of these were type A. The largest age group with positive tests for H3N2. The most severe and most widespread strain and the least covered by this year's vaccine was in the 64 and above category, some 6, 62 cases, followed by the 25 to 64 age category, with 4,825 cases. The young and the elderly and those with underlying health conditions are the most vulnerable to the flu virus. The number of actual flu cases is considered much larger since most people are never tested. Deaths attributable to flu can be difficult since the virus can weaken the body's immune against other diseases. According to the Daily Hampshire Gazette, Cooley Dickinson Hospital said this was the reason it could not confirm flu as the cause of death in several patients who had tested positive for flu.